One of the toughest questions, not tough that I couldn't answer, but it set me back just for a moment. I came to this middle school and I was supposed to sing a song, then speak for 45 minutes and then take Q&A. And the lady in the back of the room said, we have time for one more question. These kids were all seated on the ground and this little girl raised her hand back in the uh, far right of me. And she stood up and she looked right at me. She said, have you ever killed anyone? And then how did it make you feel? We speak at 125 words a minute. We think at 525 words a minute. And as I'm talking to you, you're thinking at anywhere from 1,000 to 300 words per minute. 525 words were rushing through my head and I was saying to myself, Jim, you gotta tell her the truth. You gotta tell her so she understands, but leave her on a positive note. And I looked at this little girl and who knows why she asked me that question. I looked at her and I said, honey, that's the worst thing about war, is that sometimes you have to take someone else's life so that they don't take yours. But I've never been proud of it. As a matter of fact, it's bothered me my entire life that I took somebody's dad, somebody's son, somebody's brother, somebody's uncle, somebody's husband, somebody's friend. But you know, I was a medic. Sometimes we would injure the enemy and we had to talk with them so they would have me patch them up. So I was able to heal them even though they'd been shot. We're not put on this earth for us. We're put on this earth for those that, that surround us, those that we um, live with, those that we become acquainted with, and those that we don't even know. As I told you, I call my job a positive job in a negative situation. I received a letter from a grandson of the very first man that I saved in that battle. And it went something like this. You don't know me and I don't know you. But without you, I wouldn't exist. You saved my grandfather in 1969. My mom was born in 1970 and I was born in 1990, and I just had a little boy. And as I read that letter to my wife, she said, Jim, you didn't save 10 Americans and one Vietnamese. You saved 11 family trees. And I left her on that positive note, and I had never been asked that question before. <laughs>